stars. I think they've got quite a high um, uh, amount of um, Kalinsky sable in, them, um, which is the most rugged. There's some Kalinsky sable actually mixed with Kalinsky and they're not such high quality, but I'm really impressed with them. This is long one, but <laughs> it's in the way. You've got to break in the right way. I've got to demonstrate. Okay, so, <laughs> um, so you've got your, your uh, membrane there, so we've done the modeling of the membrane. That's got to be fairly even, um, otherwise it sort of gets in the way of your modeling. Um, you will have to redefine some of the shadows. Um, but you should have enough shadows so you've got your basic form now. Um, the colour of your membrane <coughs> will vary quite a bit, but you've got three pigments you're mixing, haven't you? Yellow, red, ochre, red and white, so your mixture of those will vary a bit. But, um, this is more in the yellow direction. You can get slightly more orange. So now the next stage is yellow and white. Some people add a bit of red in as well, but um, and you want a really clean <coughs> brush, which I haven't got, got blue in. Just a, a slight trace of any other pigment will um, adulterate that pure white yellow you want. It's good to have some soap around, it's a special brush soap, I'm sure a natural soap like sunlight will do the job just as well. So it's got to be light enough to be visible. So I can't say precisely what proportions the yellow and the white should be, but it depends on the lightness of your existing mix. But the magic 20-30% lighter is the, is the trick. So more or less, this highlighting we've done in three stages, this yellow and white, then the next mix more white, and the final will be the, the always white highlights. If you're doing really small face, remember those that little fresco fragment I showed you in the talk this morning? That was just basically done with um, the Propose Moss, one highlight and then one final highlight. There's two, two grades, but very, very effective. But that would be seen at a distance. It's a good idea to have a mixture of medium dilution and, and much more dilute on hand and make sure you've got your clean clean water and clean um, egg and water on hand it can help to blend an edge so really study hard a lot of people at this stage uh, are distracted by the final white rather than the first highlight. So if you look at that, um, we see that, that yellow there, that's what we're doing here. So that's what we're doing with the soft edge. The next highlight will be that one there and the final that. Okay. So this here is different, isn't it? See that shape there? Okay. See the distinction between that more strong cheek and this more gentle one? And no. is it the divine line, the, the third highlight? Sorry? The divine lines, divine the whole. Divine what? Like the, the, the third highlights, yeah? The, the final ones. Stage, the final one. Yeah. The third. So it's two highlights plus the divine line, yeah? Um, yeah, depends, but yeah, something like that. You might go to three, but yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so look, look very hard for subtleties before you jump in. So a lot of people just go straight down like that. Reason for it comes in a little bit. Mm. Yeah. This one much more so. So look for these subtleties because you're not going to touch that border again. You're going to be moving away from the border. So if you get that wrong, it's, you know, it's going to be messy to get it right. So really look hard. And all your icons will be different. But generally look for the, the there's normally a contrast. One slightly softer, one more. And this is for female faces as well, one slightly more. Also look at your brow. Most people tend to make their brow far too thin, so they start their highlighting too far down. So get your brow the right thickness. So I'm going to probably build up my brow a little bit. That's just a sketch line, it's not the final brow. Um, look at your nose again. You can do some adjusting. You might find that your drawing, this is sort of too, 
too wide here, or your nose is too fat or something, you can begin to adjust it at this stage. Um, so basically we're getting larger areas, and as we get lighter we get smaller. So the outline here has got to be really nicely modelled, because we won't be able to change that much. We can build the shadow back again, or model a bit with an orange later, but it just gets more messy if I get it right in the first place. Is it possible to have, I know it's um, yeah, sample, a little yeah. sample. Yeah. But yeah, don't, don't go just on this because it depends on your, well, your that, background. That, that's the membrane for this. Yeah, so you can, can, yeah. you can yeah. 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 You want a brush that's big enough to, f to fill in larger areas without wasting lots of time, but a brush with a good point so you can do the detailing. So really, for something this size, you need a two, really, that's a, that's a one. It's a rather bad two, but I'll start with that. These always go less light as they dry. So I'm going to model carefully the shape, but have the boundary inside where it's going to end up. So I need, I need plenty of room to do the modeling. So, so I'm catching that um, convexity there but leaving plenty of room there to do some modelling. So the highlight comes in here. Don't worry too much if it ends up being too light. I might put a little bit more yellow there, it's a little bit too light. It almost invariably end up making the highlighting too light, but you just put a wash over. So don't, don't panic. See how, how it's dried or not <coughs> than it was in the beginning. Sometimes a highlight will come right up against a shadow, as there, see it goes right up there. Other times it starts further back, see that's quite a soft transition, but here it goes right up against the nostril. I think 90% is close observation, isn't it? Now look for things like that, see how that changes in direction there? That indicates that he's smiling a bit, because he's smiling, it bends that. Whereas if you go straight down, everything's drooping down like that. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it changes angle gives them a touch of a smile. See, everything's in relationship. This smile pushes the moustache out, which pushes the highlight out. So look for changes of direction. Our tendency is always to sort of take the short ridge so everything becomes too um, rounded and a bit flabby. It takes a bit of effort to change direction, so that's why you've got to be careful where... Like, and it'd be quite easy to scale like that, wouldn't it? But you've got to go like that and come in like that. So you've got your glaze here, just to stroke an edge to soften it, if you like. Generally, the best method, though, is to use the dry brush technique. Have very little pigment on your brush. So you can feather it out. Terrible brush, that. That was good, but... When you're designing, always have in mind the, the, the dominant ethos you want. You know, is it tenderness? Is it sort of power? Is it compassion? And Christ has all those, but the Pantocrator icon in the dome, for example, that's actually always, you know, really quite severe, a bit scary, really. Whereas an icon like this, you want a bit of tenderness. You want wisdom. You want to feel that he's a roaring lion when necessary, but He's gentle at the same time. So have that, have that in mind and that will inform. Yeah, but how is it achieved? Which parts of the face, for example, highlight certain um, emotions or... Um, <coughs> the the brows are very important. So one brow is sort of quite gentle, the other brow is raised like that. It's a bit more severe and strong. 
So the powder cloud icons in the dome, often they got quite a, like the Daphne one. So a lot of it is in the eyebrow. Um, of course, a touch of a smile, but not too much. Um, but basically, it's a combination of beer and there. But everything else is really fixed. Their bones there. So the muscles here and the muscles there, they're the only things that really move in the face. Mm -hmm. So there, there, and there are the two mm -hmm. critical things. And obviously, I think on the female uh, faces, the shape of the highlight would be different. Yeah, um, a female face, a young female face, is more generalised. So here you've got that, that, and that in a triangle there. And a female face, virtually all of that is... Um, just as one unit. Mm 